Hey everyone, I'm Lex and I would do anything for love. Go dummy, go beast. I don't know. I go beast. Go deep, yeah, I, I, I won't do that. So you guys know what time it is. It is time for the championship challenge here in July. And you know that I've got all the picks that you are going to need to have to do really well in this challenge. Now, how well you do in this challenge is not just dependent on the brawlers. It's going to be on how good you play. Don't pick stupid brawlers. Play really good and you're going to do pretty well. But if you need some help picking out those brawlers, that's why I'm here. And actually, that's why Spin is sort of here in spirit because once again spin lc has lended his expertise to get us the best picks for you to win in this championship challenge if you don't know who spin lc is where you been he's got a youtube channel go subscribe to him also he's got like over forty thousand trophies he's a world champion if he doesn't know what brawlers you should be playing eh, ain't nobody gonna know and as always the biggest piece of advice that anybody can give you is don't play with randoms go in with some friends and if you don't have any friends use the looking for group feature it's right there just join it you're gonna have a way better chance if you do play with randoms good luck though i feel for you i did it last time i only got like 12 wins so i just wanted to experience the pain it was not fun so let's hop into the very first set and that is going to be in gym grab on the map stone fort now since this is the very first set in the championship challenge the quality of players you're going to be playing is going to be less in the first set than it is in like the fourth or the fifth set so with that in mind i'm going to give you a couple different comp picks here from spin that you're going to be able to play first off the very best brawlers that he says that you can play are mr p pam and gale now with gale's launch pad be sure to launch yourself into the lane in the grass or in the center but also try to land in the grass as well you don't want to be a sitting duck the second you fall right into the middle of the map now the super secret strategy here is don't play the good brawlers play the newbie bro seriously play the easiest brawlers to play here and you're going to dominate and that is poco jackie and rosa that is spin's second recommendation it's probably the easiest to play and is going to be the most dominant here in the very early on rounds with poco he's going to control the middle rosa she's going to use the gadget to connect the grass there on from the sides into the center and sneak around although be sure to watch for the other people trying to get all sneaky like and get up all up in your business don't let them get up in your business so jackie and rosa they maintain those sides they keep anybody from entering into the center poco is just going to stand there spamming those heels on the tanks never dying and you walk away with a clean win gg now according to spin some other good mids are gene b poco and pam as well as some other good lanes are tara Bo, max and carl now the brawlers you do not want to play eight bit don't do it any thrower except for sprout which is you know okay and bull which i didn't think bull was too bad on this but i guess his lack of range really hurts him, especially down the sides. But if you can get into position with Bull, not recommending you play him, but if you do get into position, you can hold the spot pretty well if you can, you know, be sneaky-like. Anyway, so that's what you want to do for the very first set there in Stone Fort. You dominate the first set with the power and the heels, and you will move right along to the second set, which will bring you right into the one, the only, the Snake Prairie. So there are two brawlers that are absolutely key to winning every single time in Snake Prairie, and that is Bo and Tara. And you probably guessed it because Bo's got that extra vision, and Tara has that gadget that shows off the entire map. The third brawler, you know, Piper, Brock with Incendiary, also really good options. But the two brawlers that you just gotta bring are Bo and Tara. Do not go into these matches without Bo and Tara. Right when the match starts, you're going to want to contest the middle star. doesn't mean you actually have to get it yourself. Don't just go willy-nilly grabbing that star and be like, Yo, check out this star I got. Ugh. Come on now. Don't get yourself killed like that. But, you know, contest it. If you get a chance to grab it, definitely do it and you can get away with it. But if not, try to kill whoever else is sneaking there to get that star, to get the early lead. Because on Snake Prairie, it is very important to play with a lead. If you can get the lead, you can play much more defensive and hang on to that lead a lot easier than it is trying to reverse that. And if you have that lead, what you want to do is on the left and the right hand side, use like Bo's Mines and or Brock's or Piper's Super to blow up those sides so that people can't sneak in on you from the left or the right hand side. If you're behind, don't do that. Do not blow up your avenue of sneaking in on somebody else. But if you're ahead, definitely take out those areas and nobody will be able to sneak up on you. And once you get that lead, you're going to be wanting to have Tara always charging up her super in Bo's gadget. That way, whenever somebody sneaks up on you, if you guys all group together, Tara is going to be able to drop that super, pull anybody together. And with so much fire power right there, no, they stand no chance. You guys are going to decimate them. So the goals here are use Bo, 
use Terra, get an early lead, play defensively. Pretty simple, right? There's quite a few brawlers that can work well on here. However, a few that you do not want to play according to Spin are 8-Bit, Jesse, and El Primo. I mean, he didn't say Mortis. After that, you will be on to Factory Rush, where the best brawlers that you can play there are Gale, Max, and Pam. Now, if you don't have Gale, you can substitute him for Brock, but really, if you can play Gale, if you have Gale, or if you know a friend who has Gale, use him because Gale is freaking broken right now. He is so strong. He shreds every other brawler in the game, and with his super, you can get it back so fast, you can cycle them, pushing other brawlers against the wall, and just dominating them, and that's exactly what you want to do here in Factory Rush. Right off the top, you're going to use Gale's gadget to launch yourself to the center and gain an early lead or establish control really early on. With Gale in the center, Max and Pam off on the lanes, Pam's going to be a little bit more aggro than Gale and Max, but Max has so much speed and the range, she's going to be running around, you know, keeping people back at a distance and picking up all those bolts while Gale build up that super shove people against the wall and kill them. This is pretty much Gale's championship challenge. He is so good right now, so if you have him, be sure to use him here in Factory Rush. Now a big role here for Pam is that when an enemy robot is coming at you towards your Ike, as soon as it gets to the mid, Pam is gonna wanna start destroying that robot brawler while the other two people are chipping in where they can, but mainly keeping the other brawlers away from Pam. She can do so much damage, and with the help of her teammates, the enemy's team robot will do very little damage on your Ike if you play it right. Now, if you don't have Gale and you have to use Brock instead, use Brock Super whenever your robot is on the offensive. Going into the zone, you can break open that center wall and use Brock to just completely obliterate the Ike. Brock does so much damage that if you break down that wall with the incendiary star power, you will absolutely melt the Ike. Now, according to Spin, some other good brawlers in the mid are going to be B, Pam, Piper, or Gale. So Pam can be the mid or lane. And then other good lanes are Penny, Sandy, Carl, and Barley. Now, if you make it through Siege, you will be on to Heist and Hot Potato, which used to be called, was it Bone Tunnel? I think is what it used to be called. Anyway, um, according to Spin, the best picks that you can do here are Gale, Max, and Daryl. Now, this is a very specific comp, but mainly the big deal here is having a Gale and a Tank. Daryl being the one of choice on this one. The way that you're gonna wanna play this is right off the start, you're gonna take Gale, use his launch pad to launch Daryl over towards the safe. In fact, pretty much the entire match, Daryl's main job is getting on that launch pad and flying to the other side and doing as much damage to the safe as you possibly can. Gale is pretty much gonna be playing defense the entire time and Max is going to be kind of a hybrid brawler. Wherever she can pitch in, she's going to. She's gonna play some defense, then when she sees a moment, speed up there get some damage on the safe fall back play defense some more gale is pretty much just defense all the time all day every day 24 7. all right i'm trying to say it right gale is so strong with cycling those supers that he can defend two even three brawlers with just by himself he's really that good so Use that launch pad, launch your tank over there, let him do damage to the safe. You sit back if you're Gale, play defense, and as Max, you kind of flex. You're going any which way. Split up on lanes, one to the left, one to the right, one up the middle, and you will have this one lickety split, no problem. Now, if you don't have Gale, that strategy completely falls apart because you don't have that launch pad. In that situation, you want to use somebody like a Rico, a Brock, and a Max. Something that's going to be very controlling to all the lanes. And with a brawler like Rico, you can use those walls to bounce those shots into towards the center. Really putting pressure on anybody who dares oppose you in the mid. And then you can also flex over to the sides and shoot those shots as well. Brock is also really good in the mid, but he can also be effective on the lane too. He can even use that gadget to hop over walls and get access to the safe when nobody's expecting him to just to bounce over the walls like that. Now, if you do go with a longer range comp feel free to break open all those walls in the center not giving the enemies really any chance to get any kind of positioning hide behind any walls and just pick them off one by one and when they're dead you can go ahead and wreck their safe according to spin some other good picks that you can play here are of course brock rico Max Gale, Carl, and Spike. Spike is a really good defensive player on this map as well the brawlers that you do not want to play are tick 8-bit El Primo, which he isn't horrible. However, the other tanks are just better options, as well as Mortis. Who, who would play Mortis on Heist? Besides, 
lame people in sunglasses and beanies. If you manage to get past Heist, you will be on to the very final set, which is going to be in Brawl Ball and the map will be Super Stadium. Now, according to Spin, the best picks here for the best team is Gale, Max, and Carl, a very controlling composition of a team. Now, if you don't have Gale, another great team to go with is Gene, Max, and Sandy. But the interesting thing here is how well that Gale works with Carl. Of course, Gale, with his star power that stuns people when they hit the wall, Carl can take advantage of that because, of course, as you know, with power throw, his shots move faster, and when it hits a wall, it returns to him fast. So if you're the Carl, always be on the lookout for your teammate to push somebody to super them against the wall where you can get extra damage on them by using that wall to your advantage to return your shot to you quicker. However, also, However, if you are playing the Carl, be sure to, you know, recognize whenever you're going up against a brawler who can cancel out your super. You don't want to start using your super and then a BB is sitting there waiting for you to knock you back. That's a waste. So be cognizant of who you're going against, if they have their super, and can they knock you out of your super. Now with Gale, the only place that you really want to use your jump pad here is right by your own goal. You don't want to use it to jump too far forward. You just want to be able to get back into the fight a lot quicker with that jump pad. Now, if you don't go with Gale and you're using the Gene and Max combo, be sure to keep Gene and Max together. They work really well together. Not only do they have the range and the speed, but also the healing with them. Also, as a note with Gene, don't be afraid to auto aim your super. If you're within like four or five tiles, there's no reason to aim your super. Just auto aim it. You're going to connect with the brawler. One important tip from spin here in Brawl Ball is to not overextend. If you find yourself you're the only person left on your team and there's the ball up there but they still have some other teammates, chances are you're not going to get it past them. So it's better to bide your time, wait for your team to respawn, kind of hold position for your teammates until they get back to you rather than just going in there and die and then when you're respawning have an entire team coming at you full force. So take your time, find your moments and score whenever you have an opportunity. Don't press it. Or if you like me, just, you know, go for it and die. Now with those three best brawlers, like you've seen the graphics moving around there, you're going to want to play Gale in the center with Max and Carl off on the lanes. And of course, the most important brawler in all of these compositions is the mid. Not only do you have to win your matchup, but you also have to be cognizant of your teammates on the left and right side. Help them out whenever you possibly can after you've won your matchup and help pinch those other brawlers. And finally, some brawlers you do not want to use on Super Stadium, according to Spin, are Tick, Jesse, Bull, Shelly, and Spin. Did you did you just really say don't play Crow? I I don't I don't I don't know if I can continue on with this video anymore. Anyway, so that is going to be your guide for the July Championship Challenge. You guys let me know how you did. And please, don't come back here if you've lost in three games and you played with randoms and be like, yo, Lex, man, what you doing, Lex? You're so stupid, man. I lost because of you. Yeah, I know I played Mortis with randoms, but why did I lose? You suck. Don't, come on. Don't, don't be that guy. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it's going to help you guys out a little bit. Be sure to use code Lex in the shop and also head on over to Spen's channel right now and give him some love. Give him some love. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, until next time, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out. Just don't play with randoms, whatever you do. I sound like a cow folk and you do too. I don't really know if you do, but I'm just going to... Oh, I'm singing in my office.